Let me just say, one mother to another, do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless He listens to you. It's that four-letter word igniting a firestorm of controversy. Comedian Samantha Bee, she is under fire for her vicious and vulgar attack on Ivanka Trump. How about we don't make a ton more minors unaccompanied and we don't treat any kids like criminals? It may have started as an impassioned monologue about kids separated from parents along the Mexican border. Put on something tight and low cut and tell your father stop it. Samantha. But comedian Samantha B, host of Full Frontal, now facing backlash for calling Ivanka Trump the C word, fueling fierce debate about when and where comedy crosses the line. I think the joke was inappropriate. I do think it, I didn't think it was funny. It, it, it wasn't right for me. It's outrageous. It is unacceptable and should be called out. To me, hate is hate. And I think she should be condemned for it too. Samantha B asking forgiveness, writing, I would like to sincerely apologize to Ivanka Trump and to my viewers for using an expletive on my show to describe her last night. It was inappropriate and inexcusable, and I deeply regret it. But sorry wasn't enough for some sponsors, State Farm and Auto Traders suspending their ads. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders calling the language vile and vicious. The president tweeting, why aren't they firing no talent Samantha B for the horrible language she used on her low rating show? A double standard. The double standard, a reference to ABC canceling Roseanne Barr's show earlier this week. After the comedian tweeted a racist insult, comparing Valerie Jarrett, an African American Obama official, with an ape. Well, I'm not surprised that people have asked for Samantha B to be fired. It comes two days after Roseanne Barr was fired, and they're trying to they're trying to make it out to be a kind of polarity between uh, liberal and conservative. But to equate the racism with her rudeness, and to equate the target of Roseanne Barr's racist attack, African Americans, with Ivanka Trump, who comes from a position of power, is different. Still, many are drawing comparisons and drawing the conclusion that Barr was punished and be protected because of their politics, pointing to another primate joke Bill Maher previously made about President Trump as further evidence of bias. I made a joke about his father being an orangutan once, <laughs> and he marched into court with his birth certificate and sued me. But critics say, politics aside, it's the painful legacy behind Barr's tweet that makes it so harmful. Comparing a black woman to an ape plays into a long history of racism. What Samantha Bee said, she used a, a bad word, a word that some people find offensive, but there's no history of upper-class white women using the C word to dehumanize and oppress other upper-class white women. Roseanne remaining active on Twitter, but apparently taking some time away from the spotlight. The comedian was scheduled to appear on Joe Rogan's podcast today, but he says she canceled, in part because she is not doing well. Thank you. I was feeling very Kate Middleton, so... Um... Comedian Heather McDonald cut her teeth on Chelsea Lately, a show that was known for its racy humor. I have to admit! It's grosser with me! It's grosser with you! <laughs> but she says both Barr and B made a mistake. I think they're both wrong. Racism definitely crosses the line. We still have this as a problem, and anything that somehow encouraging it is very disturbing to people. I think the bigger thing about the Samantha Bee is about women treating women a certain way, and if we're supposed to all be empowering each other and feminists, then why are you going at people like that? Right, but the question is, in the era of Me Too, are women no longer allowed to insult other women? Look, we all don't love each other. You know, we all are not going to go to camp together. I mean, you can dislike someone. It's impossible for all women yeah, to, to all love, love each other women. and hold hands across America. Oh, well. At least for now, TBS seems to be sticking by the comedian. The cable network tweeting in part, those words should not have been aired. It was our mistake too. Ultimately, does Samantha Bee lose fans or gain them? From what I can tell, the people that um, liked her and watched her show are totally down and love her. The people that are hating on her probably didn't even know that she had a show. Just last night, the Television Academy honored Full Frontal for its social impact, highlighting issues like health care and sexual harassment. B skipped the red carpet, but appeared to address the incident in her acceptance speech, saying, every week I strive to show the world as I see it, unfiltered. Sometimes I should probably have a filter. I accept that. I think what Samantha B did was wrong. 
I think she was trying to draw attention to an issue that she feels passionately about, and this was a way of kind of turning up the temperature on that and getting people to pay attention, but they're paying attention to the wrong thing. Of course, B and Barr are not the first comedians accused of going too far. Rocking out. Kathy Griffin was fired from her CNN hosting gig after posing with a bloodied Trump mask. And Michael Richards of Seinfeld fame tanked his stand up career with a racist rant during a show. Oh my God. But many more have pushed the envelope in the name of comedy without consequences in the past. I mean, some of the stuff we did back then where we didn't even get one nasty tweet back was unbelievable. Like, the climate has changed so much. In what way? Um, just the lines that we could cross. I mean, you some could of the be things, raunchier? Honestly, I don't even want to say some of the bits that we did because it's so politically incorrect today. And now I think it's definitely, um, you really need to watch what you say. Earlier this year, Michelle Wolf's comedy at the White House Correspondents' Dinner drew ire from both sides of the aisle. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts, and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. But many pointing out the president himself is no stranger to highly controversial comments. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the... Comedy has always been political, but has it always been this polarizing? I mean, I think it's a scary time to be a comedian because people are so volatile about it. And if they even think that you might think differently from them, they're like, whoa, I thought I liked you. Is political correctness going to kill comedy? No, I don't think it is. I think that the comedians have to work a little harder. You have to think about, is this joke worth it? Is this tweet worth it? Don't just put it out there. Whether an edgy punchline is considered repugnant or not may morph with the times. But ultimately, what matters most is the audience reaction. If you're offended, don't go to the comedy club. If you don't like Samantha Bee, don't watch her show. Listen, a lot of people might be watching it this week that, again, never knew TBS even existed, let alone Samantha Bee. Let's make lemonade out of lemons. It's important that people not only have their visceral reactions, which they share, but then also pull these things apart and figure out where we're going as a country, as a culture, because the comedy reflects all of that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.